Hello everyone, this chip is the RYS8830, a GPS receiver made by Rayx, a tech company based in Taiwan. Despite its small size, this chip has 0.3 meters accuracy and very low power consumption. I'm talking about a minimum of 1.75 volts, which means it can be powered by coin cell batteries, making it a very convenient for lightweight applications. When my chip arrived, it was already mounted on an evaluation board that comes with a USB Type-C connector. It's really a plug-and-play module. I will put down the link for the GNSS monitor software so you can try this by yourself. As you can see here, all I had to do was assign in the right USB port, turn on the connection, and then click on the cold start button, and wait for the GPS to lock on. Once that is done, you will see that the top left window have been populated with your positioning info and also time, altitude, and velocity, among other information. I'm going to explain why I chose a cold start in a moment, but let me first show you some of the interesting tests I did with this chip. Before I tested this receiver, I sort of expected that this will not work in indoors. This is why I have put the receiver inside my room, and to my surprise, it worked fine. Next, I moved it to the rooftops, and you can see here that the altitude has increased. I even have put the receiver inside my car, driven a little bit around the neighborhood. Unfortunately, the monitor shows only the last portion of my path, but you can see that the GPS receiver has accurately tracked my movements, which was really cool. Now, let's talk a little bit about the mysterious cold, warm, and hot start options that you have here. As you know, getting a lock on by the GPS receiver on the ground usually takes some time, especially when the receiver is in a moving vehicle or in dense urban areas. The initial time needed for a GPS lock is usually dependent on how the GPS receiver starts. And so there is three types, hot, warm, and cold. The hot start is the quickest. It only takes about 22 seconds, but the catch is, it only works if you are generally in the same location as you were when you turned off the GPS the last time. The warm start is when the GPS device remembers its last calculated position, almanac used, and UTS time, but not which satellites were in view. It then performs a reset and attempts to obtain the satellite signals and calculates its new position. Finally, the cold start is when the GPS device dumps all the information, attempts to locate the satellites, and then calculates a GPS lock. This takes from 2 to 4 minutes, the longest because there is no known information. So, this is why you should always pick a cold start when you first start your device. So, this was my test and review for the Rayx RYS8830 GPS slash GNSS receiver. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more, all you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and activate the notifications. Also, if you know some cool devices and would like me to test them, let me know in the comments. I'll see you again in a new video with a new idea. Goodbye.